cut Abel's fate had been unknown to relatives and fellow activists for nearly two years. According to a Facebook post on Tuesday from his wife, Nora Ghazi Safadi, he was taken to Syria's Adra prison, one of the country's most notorious, in October 2015, and executed days after. This is the end that suits a hero like him. Thank you for killing my lover. I was the bride of the revolution because of you. And because of you I became a widow, Safadi wrote on Facebook, in a post seemingly directed at the Syrian government. We are deeply saddened and outraged at this awful news. Basil Kartabel will always be remembered as a symbol of courage, who peacefully fought for freedom to the very end. Our thoughts are with his family, Anna Neistat. Amnesty International's senior director of research, said in a statement Wednesday. Kartabel opened up the internet in Syria Kartabel, also known as Basil Safadi, was a Syrian Palestinian who was widely seen as the person who brought open source software to Syria, helping Syrians evade regime surveillance and online censorship. Foreign Policy magazine ranked the activist as the 19th most influential thinker in 2012 for insisting, against all odds, on a peaceful Syrian revolution. Kartabel was arrested in Damascus in March 2012. A year after his arrest, two members of the European Parliament, Charles Danak, and Anna Gomez, credited him with opening up the Internet in Syria, and vastly extending online access and knowledge to the Syrian people. In a letter to the European Commission, the MEP said Kartabel's arrest was strongly suspected to be part of an effort to restrict access to online communities and discourses and stifle free expression in Syria, they also said Kartabel was believed to have been tortured in prison. In an address on International Human Rights Day 2015, then U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry paid tribute to Kartabel as a prisoner of conscience. The MIT Media Lab offered Cartable a research position in October 2015, the same month Cartable is believed to have been executed. Basil Cartable and his wife on their wedding day Basil was Creative Commons Syrian project lead, an open source software programmer, teacher, Wikipedia contributor, and free culture advocate. He was also a devoted son and husband and a great friend to many people in the open knowledge community around the world. Open Internet non-profit Creative Commons wrote in a tribute to Caritable on Tuesday. Creative Commons, and the global commons of art, history, and knowledge, are stronger because of Basil's contributions, and our community is better because of his work and his friendship. His death is a terrible reminder of what many individuals and families risk in order to make a better society. Tuesday's reports of Cartable's execution bring to an end five years of social media campaigning around the hashtag hashtag free Basil calling for his release. Amnesty International estimates that 17,723 people died in Syrian prisons between March 2011 and August 2016, an average rate of more than 300 each month.